Oh my god, you guys, I have spent so much money. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today's video is a giant high-end makeup haul. I know, I'm supposed to not spend money on makeup. I have a mortgage now. I'm an adult. But guys, I bought all this stuff within a few months before I moved into the house. So I haven't been a naughty girl, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, so this stuff was either birthday presents to myself or money that I got from surveys or birthday presents to myself. Um, so I went to the Mecca opening in Rundle Mall. It is a combination of multiple months worth of shopping, a lot of which was on sale. Um, Sephora had a big sale like the annual 20% off um I went to the Mecca opening and spent a lot more than I was supposed to <laughs> um a couple things I got good prices I had some survey money I wanted to spend on myself I knew I wasn't gonna be able to spend any money while I'm in this house at least for now so I definitely bought up big as my last hurrah of shopping that's for sure anything else I buy I needed it okay I needed it so let's get into why I'm broke <laughs> so I have a little section of my Sephora order I think I made three different Sephora orders so I think because they had the, the sale and then I needed to get my birthday gift and my double points for my birthday and then I bought something else I think <laughs> so yeah um so this was the birthday gift I needed to spend lots of money to get. Um, it is a little benefit duo of the They're Real. Um, I think it's the primer. I'm not sure. And a little What's Up. And I've always wanted to try What's Up. So it was definitely worth getting this a foul free. So yeah, they're just little minis. Um, really keen to try the What's Up. Shannon so loves it, so I really wanted to try it, and I've not tried the They're Real, so yeah. Fun little minis to try. And I collected a lot, like I cashed in a lot of my points at Sephora, so I've got a bunch of minis. Um, I got a mini tart blush that was in the shade Party, because my birthday, I need a party. And I did. Um, I also got a little Sephora lip product. Oh, it's a little, just a little red lip product, um, cream lip stain, I think, in the shade of one red. Um, and I also got a little Tardis lip paint, um, the shade birthday suit, because hello, birthday. Um, I checked, because I've got a few tart minis that don't have this colour, thank God, unless they rename things. Um, and then I also got some Sephora masks because why not treat my skin as well? And then I got a little bite set of lip masks as well. So yeah, I'm definitely set for minis. <laughs> and then I also got a big kit. So I got the Zoeva Spice of Life kit. I was feeling very Spice Girls that day. So it comes with a full size palette, comes with a cheek palette, a lip like a liquid lipstick and a lip liner. Um, so the lipstick and lip liner are like a dark red. I'm mistaken. This is supposed to be a highlighter palette, but when you see why I open it, um, that's not a highlighter for my skin tone. Um, this one is going to be barely light enough. So I think this is going to be either a shimmery blush or an eyeshadow. So yeah, I have a couple of Zoeva palettes, but that's it. I think I'll, this would be my third Zoeva palette, um, but I've never tried any of the other products as well. And because I really wanted this palette, um, I thought, well, why not try some more of Zoeva's products and get the whole kit? So this product, so this palette, sorry. I hate these things. Like, I can't want to get into it. Um, this palette, I don't know why. I've got so many freaking warm tone palettes, but I wanted this palette, so... Oh, come on, look at it. Look how pretty. I needed it as my now. 
Oh, there's this big maker bag. This is all a combination of shit. And then I've also got, because I placed a maker order online as well, to not only get my birthday gift, but to get the beauty loop box. So I'll do that now. Um, I, I've been trying to do dedicated videos to the beauty loop box, but because I got it literally the week before I moved house, it's just, uh, didn't find where this was. It took months. Like... I'm a level two, cannot afford to be a level three, till you level threes out there, naughty girls. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick sneak peek into what was in this box from a couple months ago. That's the card. First thing I'm most excited about, because it's the only makeup product in here, it is a toothless lip injection. So yeah, I cannot wait to have plumped up Highly needed on the lips. Um, the next we have another Floral Street perfume. I had a sample of a Floral Street perfume. It was Cypress Umber, so it's not the same one as this. I wore it to one of my jobs. I was working with all men that night. They just couldn't stop sniffing me. One of them was even like, can you please send me the perfume? I want to get it for my girlfriend. And I'm just like, stop sniffing me, dude. <laughs> like, so, Floral Street. Expensive AF, the 50 mil, which is usually the small version, was over a hundred dollars. So if you can get a sample of Floral Street, wear it on a date because you are going to attract all the men with your Floral Street perfumes. The next we have a little Elemis sample. Um, I think it's an eye cream. Yeah, it's just an eye cream. I'll use it, but not too exciting. And then the last thing is a vintage extract essence. So it's a serum, basically. Not too exciting. I like to at least get two makeup products in these boxes, but it was free, so can't be too mad, right? In this order, I have some samples. I got a Toka. Perfume sample. I hate the samples without the sprayer. They just aren't going to get used. Um, another Elemis. It's a thousand flower mask. So we'll chuck that in my mask drawer. And then I got some Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, like a uh, peels pack. Alright. Into <laughs> the goodies in the box. The birthday gift, because the last two birthdays I received the exact same thing and ended up giving the second one away. It's like I shouldn't be receiving the same gift every year. This one, however, is different. It is a brush. It is this beauty. Um, it's Mecca Cosmetica powder brush. Ooh, this baby is soft and rose gold. I just wish we got a brush set, not just one brush, but I will take it anyway. And the reason for the order from Mecca for my birthday was this bad boy. It is the Tarcha Skin Careful Makeup Lovers Set. You know that's me. So it comes with the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I've been wanting to try this for ages, so got it in a pack. It also comes with the One Step Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I wish they had included the Dewy Skin Cream, but whatever. Um, I will try it anyway. It's touch a hello. I'm going to be fucking glowing from high heavens. Um, and the silk canvas, a primer I have been dying to try. So to get it all in one little gift pack. Perfect. I love getting packs. Let's dive into the big boy. So first things first, I had some survey money. I've never tried this product before. I know the hype has been and gone. I'm probably the last person on this train. But I got the RCMA No Color Powder. I know people love it, people hate it. No one talks about it anymore. I still hadn't tried it. I had a voucher. I freaking got it. So I'm really not looking forward to this packaging. But still got to try it anyway. I got it for like 20 bucks. I want to try it. I think this was a Sephora one as well from one of the other orders. I got the Chloe Brow Wardrobe. Um, I've only got, I think it's precisely my brow. 
Um, this is precisely my brow pencil sample in the shade 3 and I really like it. So I wanted to try some darker brow products and when Chloe came up with this, hello. Not only are there some darker colours, but there are so many brow products in this one freaking kit that I can try that saves you hundreds of dollars. So I had to get this. It's got the foolproof brow powder, gimme brow, cabrow, precisely my brow, high brow, and then a brush. Hello. So my brows are going to be slightly more on fleek because with my brows, they are never on fleek, but I'm going to try with this. So Chloe, if it doesn't work, I'm coming for you. Some other stuff from Sephora. Um, I got the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss Stick. This is something I want to try. I know it's not new. I should have jumped on the bandwagon a year ago, but money. Anyway, it, I got the shade that's always sold out. It came in stock and it was said one left. And I was like, yes, I'll take it. And I bought it and then said out of stock. And I was like, yes, I got it. And then the next day, one left. And I'm like, you're a liar. You wanted me to get it. So Sephora, I see you girl. You are a sneaky bitch. Um, so I got the shade Mocha Chocolata. And it's basically a pinky nude, but it's lip gloss in a stick. Come on, I had to try that, right? And the packaging, it's Marc Jacobs, it's gorgeous. So you know I'll be trying this very soon. And I didn't get it from Sephora, I got it from Cosmetics Now. Um, I love that sign, there's always a discount code every month. And you use your points that you spent from your last purchase to get money off. And everything's always slightly cheaper. I've got another, I've got a lipstick from Tarte. It's not here yet. It was 20 bucks. I had a survey voucher. I didn't spend money on it. It's okay. But it hasn't arrived yet. And I thought one lipstick is not going to be missing out of this haul. Like, come on, it's one lipstick. And I needed to film this because it's been here forever. But I got the ever so famous sugar sugar lip gloss so i've been trying to try it for so long so yeah finally got my hands on this baby and i got it at a discount Ooh. i think this was sephora as well i got the becca um first light priming filter i love the backlight so i've been trying to try this for so long um I hate getting into packaging. Just make it simple. Just the packaging alone on this is so beautiful. But I had to try it. I'm like anything to bring brightness to my face. Need to try this. There's anything as good of a quality as the backlight. I love this baby. So please be as good as each other. I caved. I had a survey voucher. I know. I'm doing so many surveys lately. Um, I got the P. Louise base. Um, I got the shade 0 0.5 because it's the lightest one that wasn't white. But Shannon so has been using these nonstop in her videos and I'm like, I need to freaking try it now. Um, so yeah, I have heard amazing things that you can use this wet, dry. Like you can, I mean, as in like you can use it wet, you could set it. I'm dying to try this. So yeah. If you guys want to see any videos on any of these products, like first impressions, including this, let me know. Um, Because this is an interesting one. Is it worth the hype? One more thing from Sephora, I think. Um, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Bomb Highlight. I know. This thing is called How Many Carrots. This thing is just glitter. But it's a pale highlight. And I like glitter. Packaging alone on this thing, like, oh my god. Okay, there's literally already glitter everywhere. Hello. Holy shite. Hello. 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 Now the rest of this stuff I got at the Mecca opening, a random wall. 
Um, so the reason why I went to this was to get the wristband. I was fifth in line. I lined up at midnight. I went to the Marion opening. I think we lined up at line one and we were like seventh or eighth in line. So it seemed about right because the girls after me were there around one. The reason we were there at midnight in Rundle Mall outside in the freaking cold, busting our titties out, <laughs> nips out through our shirts, was because the first 100 people got one of these wristbands in line. And that wristband entitled you to the Naked Reloaded palette for free. Let me just say, the line started to grow around 4 a.m., which is when I probably should have rocked up, but living so far away, I had to take the train, and the last train was at like 11 something, so I got to the city at midnight. Either that, or I get to the city at 6 a.m., and if you got to the city at 6 a.m., you were too late, girl. Um, there were fights over these wristbands. Like, come to the end of the line, this, this line, Come 6, 7 a.m., because the store opens at 9, was, if you know Rundle Mall and where the Mecca is, it was round the corner, plus, once you get to King William, round the corner, it was insane. People were coming up to me that I knew, I'm not going to say names, but were talking to me like, hello, what are you doing in line? You're a crazy person. And I'm just like, girl. Is all over this thing. Um, but it was the best opening. I, that's the second one I've been to. And of the two, that one was so much better than the Marion opening. Um, yeah, we didn't get those cheesy Mecca Maxima plastic goodie bags with the clappers and the hats. I got that at Marion. It was shit. So I'm an adult. I don't need that stuff. I'm happy with not getting that goodie bag. Um, but we got some NARS samples, all of which are way too dark for me, so that's a waste. Um, but we got a donut, a coffee, um, they were putting highlight on us. Um, it was really fun, the music was pumping. Um, yeah, it was really a lot better than Marion. Marion, they gave us, yeah, they gave us a donut and coffee. Um, they gave us a cheesy bag. Um, they told us there was going to be a glitter makeover. It was stickers on our face. That's not a glitter makeover, honey. Um, so at least they didn't promise anything that they couldn't deliver this time. So, yeah, I got the Naked Reloaded palette. I was going to buy it anyway. So the fact that I got it for free just to sit outside in the cold for a couple hours, so worth the money, girl. I am so excited to try this. I know it is like a super basic neutrals palette, but come on. It's basically the ABH Sultry palette. Come on, can you not see that? It's the Sultry palette. It's just slightly warmer than the Sultry palette. And I didn't buy that because that's like freaking almost $100 and I got this for free. So yeah, I'm so excited to try this. And they've got bigger pans on the outside. So. The rest of the stuff in here is stuff I bought. But when you spend $89, you get to pick up goodie bag like a random thing um off of a carousel that's spinning all these bags around um they had the same thing at marion it was basically you open a drawer at marion i want a 20 dollar gift card awesome better than some of the crap other people got not as great as someone else like someone got a 500 dollar gift card um but this time i didn't get a gift card i got a product i got this by terry body cream so i got a body moisturizer from by terry not a product I would go out and pick myself or anything. I looked it up on the website. It was over $130. What? I got a $130 body moisturizer for free and it's really fucking amazing brand. Thank you. I'll take that because when the bags were going around, because in the drawers at Marion, you couldn't really tell what was in it until you opened the drawer. All the drawers are the same. But on these bags, you pick the one that looks heavy. You know you're going to get it. Freaking good product. If you pick something light, you could have gotten a pencil case. Or, you know, you could have gotten the gift cards. Obviously, that's what you want. But, you know, I picked the bulky one. I think I won. <laughs> so, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So let's get into the products that I bought. Because I 
spent a lot more money than I could. Like I, I went in planning to get. But there was things I did. They didn't have Mac there and there was Mac stuff that I wanted. So I, I was like, well, I've got this all this money saved for Mac. I might as well buy something else. The first thing I grabbed as soon as I walked in was some more of the mini Stila um, liquid eyeshadows, glitter and glows. So this is all fired up. So it's like a red theme rather than the iridescent ones I got last time. But yeah, just some more colors to try out, some fiery shimmers. And next to that, with all these other minis, I got the Stila One Step Correct Primer. Again, Shanexo just doesn't stop, stop using this product and I have to fucking try it. I've got so much redness, I'm hoping it'll start correcting that. And then I went to NARS. All right. This was something I was planning on getting, so that's fine. Um, I got the um, Radio Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. I've been dying to try this for ages. I have the little pop matte one from NARS in Chantilly, and I really love the Maybelline Fit Me, so I had to try this. Like, everyone freaking loves this concealer, so I had to try it. Something I didn't plan on getting. I have this in my wish list on Cosmetics Now because it's cheaper there. So I spent more money on this than I probably should have. I got another NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel. I think this is one of Kathleen Lights' favourite shades. Um, I have one of these lipsticks, like a red one, and then I have like a midi nude one from another shade. But I had to try this shade. It's pinky nude. Like, come on. Okay. I could have saved money and not bought this and just gotten it on cosmetics now. But I was there. The money was in my pocket. Um, but you know what? I could have saved money. Oh, well. Done now. And then I went to the skincare section. I know. I'm an adult now. I got excited over skincare. Both of the products I actually got in Mecca Beauty Loop boxes. And I loved the samples so much. I'm still using one of the samples because... It just is never going to run out. Um, it's the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. I use this every day. It is amazing. I had to get the full size and I was still using the sample. This sample is taking me forever to use. But it means that this full size is just, it's, it's going to last me, girl. So I'm really excited to finally finish that sample and crack this bad boy open. The other one, as soon as I didn't have it anymore and that sample was over, I missed it. I really missed it. Just spraying it on my face every morning is kind of like a refresher, wake me up. It is the Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Mist. This shit is like a rosy spray. You just spray it on your face after giving yourself like a, a quick rinse in the morning. Oh, it, it just changes your whole outlook on life. I had to get it. I know it's a freaking spray. I've got so many sprays. I like sprays. But I missed this spray, so I had to get it. I know. I always feel one of those people who's like, I don't buy skincare and makeup. I just buy their makeup. Now I'm a person that buys skincare. It happens. Hit 25 and you start into the skincare. And then just as I was on my way out, because they didn't have something I wanted. Oh, they didn't have a few things I wanted. And I had the money in my pocket. It was from all these surveys I had. My pile of makeup fell. <laughs> it was from all these surveys I'd done. This is something that's been in my wish list for a long time. So I thought, fuck it, I'll get it. It is the Just Peachy Matte Palette from Too Faced. It's just nothing like anything else I have in my collection. So oh, I had to get it out. I've been wanting it for it does. Look, I'm peach clothing kind of washes me out but I want to continue experimenting with peachy makeup just because you can look close to pink and I don't know it's fun so yeah I definitely wanted to give this a go it's been on my wish list for so long now and that's it that is everything I have spent my life on the past few months okay if I do another haul you guys are gonna tell me off in the comments <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I really shouldn't be spending money anymore. I want to, you know, pay off this house and I want to go on holiday eventually because I'm sick of being stuck in Adelaide and I want to go on holiday. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Subscribe to my channel.
I don't know why, but when I got this in the mail and it was like the whole kit, I felt like an influencer that was like more famous than, because I'm not famous, but like I felt like a famous influencer getting PR because like I got the whole set and I was like, oh my God, just opening this up, I got PR. Oh. That would never happen. I've never received PR. I am not famous. <laughs>